sort of, it reminds me sort of like a dragon, but... Man, it sort of looks like a dragon or a unicorn. Well, I know it's a dragon because it always comes with a fire behind it. Hmm. We keep on seeing weird symbols in our dreams. <laughs> or like the ones on my leg. I drew them on my leg just because... Uh, mine are red because I have the red. And I have the blue. Mm -hmm. um, We're going to draw them on a piece of paper to see if, if they do anything. I have a piece of paper. I should. I mean, I got to have something in this classroom. Really. Yeah, we better do. Uh, Why does the lid keep on falling? Because it, it's a very hard place. Aha, uh -huh. here, we can use the back of this paper that has the months, the 12 months of the year. Don't worry about that. We don't need this. You memorize it. Um, yeah, that's why I haven't written down. All okay, right, so. write the first one. Draw the first one. This one. We don't know what keeps on happening. We just both see it in our dreams a lot. And she said that she used to draw it all the time, but it kept on bursting into flames. I burned it. For some oh. reason, I see something from it. I don't oh. That's what it looks like. I just did the fluffiness around, like, the waviness around it, because it came with a sparkly, like, hmm. cloud around it, and then... What do you keep on seeing? I, I don't know. Don't remember? I remember it, it, but it doesn't have a name. It kept calling itself Rain. Oh. Rain? <laughs> <laughs> I know, it, it used to freak me out, so I just stopped worrying about it. Seeing it often stop bothering me, but... I never wrote down any of the symbols I keep on seeing, but... Alright, now for the last one that I saw. Well, except for the ones that Eliza has. I've seen those too, but... They're not the ones I'm familiar with. I see these more often. I sometimes do see yours on their legs, sorry. But it's very rare. Yeah, for, for some reason, these always come with, like, some sort of warning. The ones I, the ones I see. Mine always appear when... So, show them that. Mine always appear when, um, something scary is gonna happen in my, my dreams that make me wake. Well, it's your turn now. Like, a falling dream. They always appear in that. Yeah, I'll lift it up while you do yours. So, here, if you need to use mine. But we, I don't know why, but we always see these, so now we're just deciding to finally say some, at least do something about it. Most of the time I see it with this, so I'm going to draw it. I'm always seeing a lot of them. There's so many more than the ones we've drawn on the paper, but they're much harder. Is that in here? They're, no, they're just much harder to get memorized, because some of the ones I see are like, I have one that I have that are like, Mine very rarely appear. These one, these two appear more often. Same I see dream. a whole lot of them, but they always come with warnings. Like the night my grandma died, I woke up and they, and it had said a warning, saying, "Beware to, to trust your feelings to those who do not believe in you." And these are my two. All right. Well, sh Eliza, if you show one more, there's one more that I really I see when someone's gonna die or something. I've only seen it maybe once or twice before. I only see these two in my dreams when I'm having like a falling dream that I wake up instantly from. Maybe it's supernatural, who knows? I don't think so. I have a book on the supernatural, but I have never seen these signs in there. Maybe people will not believe us. Because we're just children, and it's our just wacky, wacky, wacky imagination. But I always see this. What is that mean? <laughs> it, it was when they was coming together. It was two pieces of a heart, and then they flipped sides like that. Oh. For me, I always see um this one on a sign. Go ahead. Well, it always is a sign that I always see just popping out of the side of a mountain or building whenever I have one of those falling dreams. I only, I saw, I've only seen this one twice before, and after a, 
like maybe a day or two after or that night or something uh i get a like my family members died i don't know if it means that they're trying to warn me not not to prepare myself for what i don't see it often i've only seen it twice maybe it means that your family's gonna die like a few others let me just lay down oh no we screwed up <laughs> I've also seen this one. Okay. I'm just trying to fix my skirt. <laughs> I'm standing. <laughs> See the location? It looks like a goat head. Not like goat head. Well, goats are related to the devil. For some reason. I see this one every time I... Every... Right before I see a monster, it always appears. Oh, that just reminded me of something. I saw only once because... Well, I think it was only once. I don't remember. But... I always see... Well, I used to see these dreams where... I was being chased by a monster. I don't remember what it, the monster looks like, but the monster was always chasing chasing me, slowly getting you know faster. What it looks like? Nope, but the monster kept on found it. The monster kept on going closer and closer to me slowly. And then when it catches me and it it kills me, it just shows up up a um game over screen from Minecraft. While I hear Ripping and tearing and eating in the background. Wait, can you hear your dreams? <laughs> Much more than I, all my dreams. I even hear the screams of what happens. All my dreams. I and hear I can see what's going on in the background. Me too. I can hear and see my dreams. Apparently I can taste them. Oh, I always can hear taste and feel mine. They're always super creepy. But every t every time I die, there's th this symbol comes up. Hmm. There's every rarely when I've woken up right before I die. For some reason, whenever I die in a dream, I see neighbors with me. Hold this. Here, um, so just really quick so you guys can see the drawing. So this is hers, um, hers are this one, this one, and this one. Mine are this one, this one, this one, this one, and that one. Well, you know, do you hold this really What close? was the smallest symbol you ever saw? The smallest? Uh, there was one when I got this weird looking thing, it looked like this. about how small it was. Oh, let me see. Okay, hold this. Once in a dream, only once, I never got it to happen again. I just saw a sign below it. It looks like cut. It just it kept on flashing on my screen with a message. I don't remember what the message was underneath it, but it was message. I also saw this one. I don't know why it happened. They would, I had just woken up but I had woken up and it was just flashing on my ceiling. I still believe that it's supernatural. I don't know what out of my simple nat the supernatural books I have up there the paranormal powers and all that stuff. I've never seen anything. Probably it is very rare and no one actually said anything nor saw it in person. Well experience that's I don't know. I rarely get symbols I can see. I always get um things I can hear. Like, have you ever just? I've seen this one. This one came with a weird message on it. Do you think? Beware of those. Something like this. This one I woke up and then there was a mysterious voice coming from a shadow. I I always see people in the shadows. It's always been something I've noticed. What do they say? The message was beware of those 
to seek to become your friend, but only wish to use you, for those will be the ones that keep you down to hell. It also came with, but the guy walked out of the shack, but he was really creepy. He was, he had a horn, he, he wouldn't stop bleeding, he, and after... Wait, could they, wait, 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 could they mimic, um, other people's voices? Have you ever heard of other people's voices late at night? Yeah, I have. Me too. I hear that even during the day. Like, I'll think no one's there because of my name, and when I go outside and I was like, did you call my name? They're like, no. That actually happened to me. Like, like my roof is where, my ceiling is like, because of what it is, but sometimes they seem single. And then I'll stare at them for a while, and then I'll blink and they'll just go away. And it's really creepy because I had this one where it looked like there was a devil, but he was grinning and he had a knife and it was really creepy. The most common voices I hear are my family members, mostly my mom going, Eliza, or Eli, at like 12 in the morning or earlier. I can, like, I can get it throughout the whole day or during the night, it just depends. Mine are random. And once um, it happened in this day when I was taking out the trash, one of my old, old friends, her name is Liana, we became friends in kindergarten, I believe, and she said, Hey, Eliza, and that was it. I've had actually had conversations with my shadows. I saw her. She was really pretty, though, but she wouldn't show her face. She always kept the mask on. She would always say, make good friends. Find the one that can see what you didn't see. And I was like, why? And she said, for those, that one will be the one who can help you figure out what's going on. But she never said more than that. She'd always just keep that phrase. And I met her this, a week after, and she took off her mask, and she, she had, her mouth was sewn up, and there's this little hole where she was going, where is he, where is the killer's voice, and it was so sad, because they had also done that post with her face, but the only detail I can clearly remember. I never saw them, but once I also had a conversation, it was at, like, at the most 7 p.m., the latest, I was, I just came back from 7 I just came back from 7-Eleven, and they were like, hey, Eliza, and I just went, and I was silent, and I said, remember me, and just constantly repeated that, remember me, before I, and then I answered, saying, who are you, then, they stayed silent for a little bit, and they said, it's me, your best friend, I tried to, I never responded, I forgot what I said, but, they didn't say anything. I tried and tried again. I tried to um, actually communicate, but they never responded. There was this one girl I met. She was so young. She, she wouldn't say anything. She just kept her one phrase. Mommy, where are you? Mommy, I'm so scared. Where are you? Did it sound like a little girl? It was definitely a little girl. And she had the body that looked like her. She wouldn't stop saying that phrase. She was, she was crying. Was that voice high pitched? Because mine was, but we high pitched. Hmm. She was just, she wouldn't stop saying, Mommy, where are you? And she wouldn't stop crying. And the next day, well, I found out her name. When I asked her her name, she just said Rose. And I was like, Your name is Rose? And she just, she didn't respond. She, she ran away. She, she wouldn't speak. And then the next day, there was a woman. I couldn't see her. She was calling out Rose. And I was like, You know. But she, she did come out of the shadows for a split second. She looked really scared. She had scratch marks all over her, and half of her face was missing. Sometimes you see people in like the dark. Always, even in some of the lightest shadows. Whenever I'm just laying down, lying down, and my room is clean, <laughs> which is very rare. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I my I keep my room clean, but I can see them even when my room is a total mess. That's why I keep my closet closed unless it's the middle of the day, because there's a man that lives in my closet. He's super scary. He always has this chainsaw, and half of his head's missing. He 
he always has a creepy friend saying, I'm coming for you. <laughs> it, it's always creepy because he always laughs. And then he has a friend who always holds this, holds on to something. I, I never see what it is. I always see a middle-aged man holding, I believe, a rose or a flower. And oh, I've seen a girl. She sat there. She was holding a flower. It was a rose. It was black, though. Those you, but it, it was perfectly health, healthy looking. It was. It was like it, it looked like it was full bloom. It, it was crazy because I asked, I tried to talk to her, but she was just, she just sat there staring out the window. And then she disappeared. May you finish? <laughs> yes, you can. Okay, so the middle-aged man holding a flower always stood in my closet, just staring at the wall. The only thing I could actually see was their age, the flower, and, well, what I think their age is, the flower and scratch and drawings on their arms and legs. They That's just about what there was a middle-aged woman. I saw her face when she turned around. She had, she was bleeding, but she looked like... She had, she had, it looked like she had, she had rubbed, she had cut herself in a cross trying to do something. I don't know what it was. She looked scared. My character had very short hair, maybe bald. Like she had really long hair. It went down to her waist. But she always looked super scared. The person, the person I keep on seeing in my closet, like, just always says a name, but it's always different. Like, Rose, Rosie, Blah. Anna, I believe. She's in. She oh. always has just a name over and over again. Always different. Mine as well. She, she, she keeps screaming out. Sometimes she'll scream, but sometimes it's but it's always a name whenever she talks. It's like she can only talk in names. It's always Mark, Jacob, or something like that. It's very creepy because once she said silent or something it freaked me out because but then she said somebody i had known ben well ben is pretty common a pretty common well, no not ben that's just his nickname for me it was benjamin his full name is benjamin he well he was someone i had known in kindergarten and it was like uh, what because she repeated ben so she said benjamin and then ben it was like but it was the same the same night so i knew it, if she had to be talking about the same person, it was just freaking me out. My character once said a guy's name. I believe it's Ben or Benjamin. I don't know. He just once said a guy's name. And I remember the day... I just she did too. She also said a woman's name. She kept repeating Sophie or Soph. That's the way she called all my friends, though. But she always looked angry when she said it. The night when and the guy said Ben or Benjamin, he just looked at me and I was holding a mirror seeing if he actually I showed in the mirror. He didn't, but he was just staring at me in the mirror. He was staring in the mirror, just going, Ben, Benjamin. I couldn't see his face, but I knew it was facing towards me. That, he, I did that once with Sophie. Um, I had this... Uh, I had got, she had been standing at the foot of my bed, and her face was barely showing in the seeable part of my, uh, monitor there, but I couldn't see anything. She only could see was this little bit of glint, but it was like this little glint, and it freaked me out. I did, I did see a part of the eye. I don't remember what color it is. I know it was big, but long. Like, it was thick, but long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and actually all the eyes they made off of yesterday, they were all part of, so I can actually, some of them aren't the actual size, just because I was just trying to get the colors down. Um, the, the girl I was talking about, she had, one eye was this color and the other eye was purple. She always looked freaked out. Then there was another boy that came. Uh, he always looked scared. He always had orange and yellow. He, he always screamed out. Mom, come on, we're going to be late for school. 
and there was this crazy girl, there was this teenage girl that was like, Marcus, where are you? Come on. <laughs> we have to get to the party. She always had, but her eyes were just solid blue. Um, then there was this girl. She, she looked scared. She, but she was always bleeding. She had these bloodshot red eyes like this. The guy, the, the guy I was talking about had eye shapes like this. Don't know the, don't know the color, but it was this. It was thick and yeah. long. Um, there was another girl. She, she looked petrified. She was always saying, help. Why are you helping? You promised you'd help. You said. You promised. She always, she had eyes that looked exactly like this. This, she had this sparkling glow that were red. Uh, there was another boy. He was like, Mom, come on. We have to get to the ice cream parlor or we're going to be late. <laughs> you still have your job to do. <laughs> he would always laugh, but then he'd sound confused after a little while. He'd be like, Mom, why aren't you coming? Who is he? Who is he? No, Mom, let go. Always, she had these really cool eyes she used to like. And there was a girl named Solar. She always looked so afraid. She had, she always covered one eye, but one time I saw her without it, and she had her, the kind that she normally had color was this, was this eye, but she also had the eye I normally saw was just this light, light brown color. She always looked so afraid, though. And some of these are just characters I don't know. I only ever, sometimes they're just these random eye colors I see during the night. It's always really creepy. There's also someone who I believe was living underneath our bed. I don't know his name, but he always bangs on it with one finger for it. Yeah, I have, I have something like that too. But she always hangs around. She always hangs. She likes hanging out, out by my wall, hanging. She always likes sitting by there. It's my favorite thing to do. I ask her if she likes it. She always says yes. But it's always the same answer. I always ask if she if I ask her what she likes about it. She just says it's a beautiful sculpture. But it's not a sculpture. So is she replaying a memory? Is that what she sees? One day I asked her what up, what she liked about the sculpture and she said it looked like a very pretty dancing lady. But I don't ever see that there. This sleeping? Yeah, no, the hanging way. After I made that she started coming out. But originally she was here every once in a while and had my pictures hanging on the wall. And then one day it got even stranger, she came and she's like do you mean you modeled up that off to somebody else? You cheater. I guess they were dating or something. She said, oh, I never want to see your face again. Don't even bother coming to see me. And then I heard this male voice that I never saw him. It said, wait, no, I'm sorry. Please come back. I'm so very sorry. Come back. I don't know what happened. After that, she just stood there staring at the thing. Never said a word after that. I also know another person. I call him weird ass bitch. <laughs> no, seriously, I literally call him weird ass bitch. And because he always just looks at me from the side of my bed, closest to my closet, and whenever I'm underneath the bed or outside of my room, but, but camping, I always see him sniffing clothes outside, or like sheets or whatever. Well, I also see this guy. He always sits in the corner of my room. Right here, but he never he doesn't want to go sitting on anything, of course, because you can't manifest objects as a ghost. But, but he always just he always faces away from me, but he always says, Pack it in one day. You will regret ever doing that to me. He always sounds like he's doing something. 
Once in a while, he'll throw his ghost like knives that he hang on his butt sometimes. At the, the protection of the wall. They don't, they don't let him. Sometimes it freaks me out because I'll just be talking to another ghost and I almost struck up with him. Her name's um, Luna. She likes sitting at the end of my bed. She's the only one that does never says the same thing. She always has, if I ask her questions, she responds in very short words. Like, if I ask her, what's your favorite color? She, she'll say, oh, it's purple. And then, um, if I ask her, yes, if I, and then one day I asked her, hey, could you tell me where she live, where you live? And she said, uh-huh, I live nowhere. That's all she would say. It always freaked me out, because she always looked like she wanted to say more. One day, she was saying something, and it wasn't short. She was getting on to halfway through her second sentence, and she said, No, 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 I have to leave. Oh, no, I'm going to be so upset. Oh, no, 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 no. And she just disappeared. She looked absolutely terrified of whoever she was talking about. And she came back the next day, asked who, who he was, or what. And she said, No, don't worry about it. She looked so super scared and nervous she, and then I asked her another time if he lived anywhere around here she said oh, I can't tell you that he's going to be so upset if I do she always looked terrified of him she always said tell me she always every time I saw her her face changed it sometimes there'd be a black spot or a black line that would just would be dripping or something like she could like she was a person that spirit just hadn't left or something she just didn't have the same thing stuff on her mind she was always changing or something but one day i saw this man that i approached with her she looked absolutely terrified so i didn't say of course i didn't say anything because i don't want her to get in trouble oh, sorry um but she stayed with us but she never talked once when i asked her something and said she just sat there talking with him. The next day when she came back, I asked her what was wrong. She said, if I had talked to you, she would have gotten super upset. She, lo she looked absolutely scared for her life. So I asked her about that. And since then, I haven't asked her about it. And that was a week ago. Weird ass bitch. I can't say, I can't say his name seriously. Weird ass bitch. And she has a, a friend named Tom. Tom always says... Hey. I know that name. Hey. There's a guy, that, Tom, he always comes with this paintbrush with him. And Tom is always him. carrying a paintbrush, saying, don't touch that, this is weird. He's always saying that to a weird ass <laughs> bitch when he's feeling like, oh my god, this is cool, you can touch, don't do that, that's weird, it's very minor. Always convince, trying to convince him to stop. Yeah, when Tom's around... Uh, he talks to someone, but I never see who. He stays in the shadows and never comes out. He's like, you really should stop doing that. You're going to get caught. No, stop. You're going to get caught and you're going to get go to prison. Stop. You're going to get in trouble. He would always say that. Sometimes he'd be like, if you don't stop, I'm going to turn you into myself. And then he'd always end up screaming after. Like, and then he always looked like he'd been hit. He always acted like he was been slapped or something. Sometimes he would ask bitch. I don't remember what weird ass bitch he looks like one time. But I sometimes see weird ass bitch hitting Tom when he doesn't usually talk to him. I hitting him, making sometimes making Tom bleed. I've only ever heard Tom yell. I don't I've never liked arguing, so I don't pay attention to them often. But sometimes Tom will be talking talking to a little girl that comes. He's like, Hey, it's alright, smile. It's gonna be alright. Come on, let's go to mom. He always sounds like he knows her and can personalize. Tom sometimes talks about a little girl. He says that it's his sister, mom, whatever. He always says a different story about her. Most of the time it's sister or daughter. Yeah, like one day she came and she was like, Come on, Tom, we're gonna be late. We promised we'd take you to the theater today. Come on, don't be such a 
Holy! And she, and he finally like, fine, come on. Can we start recording? Yeah, well, well it's almost 30, oh, like 30 minutes, or like 30 minutes. Yeah, I'm starting to run out of space. I'm going to delete this.